At the train station in Gillum today, officers boarded an incoming via rail train on the hunt for anything out of place. With a heat sensing drone in the sky and a little extra help on the ground, this concerted effort to track down the two suspects who remain on the run comes on a day when the elements are not working in anyone's favor. Hello, good afternoon. RCMP say it's possible the two aren't even in this area anymore, but they're still doubling down here. Over the next 72 hours, investigators will conduct door-to-door -door canvases in the town of Gillum and Fox Lake Cree Nation in hopes of generating new tips and information. Under the strain of the attention and the manhunt, people here are looking out for each other as well as the suspects. Everybody welcome. Although the reality of this ongoing case is always present, the manager here says she's taking care to make sure staff are not working alone. If somebody doesn't want to come to work because they're not comfortable um, with all that's going on, some people just don't feel safe leaving their house, then that's their prerogative and that's okay. People are also banding together in Fox Lake Cree Nation. Yeah, yeah. This crew is building a shelter for a community bonfire. After days of being holed up in their homes on edge, they're sharing food and feelings. The isolation is just, I think it gets to be too much for people and that way they can share, talk, you know, talk about what's going on and instead of staying home and just being, you know, frightened, like. But always top of mind is the question, when will this all end and how? I'm just hoping and praying that they get caught soon because this is crazy. I just hope it ends peacefully and nobody else gets hurt. This search is about to get a boost. Canada's public safety minister says military air support is on the way. Another tool for investigators as this search drags on. Angela Johnston, CBC News, Gillum.